Hi everyone, George here from Locked on Art. In this episode of Quick Builds, I'm going to be building a M3 Lee. Now this kit is from the Russian company's Vesta, and the picture art is of a Russian German M3, which would have been part of the Lend Lease Act in World War II. I'm going to carry on that theme and I'm going to paint it with Russian colours and slogans. The kit is in the 1 to 100th scale and there are very few parts to put together. There's only two sprues and there are very few parts to the kit. But there's some great details in this kit, especially here in the tracks and wheels. There's rivets on the hull. Not cutting cleanly to the pieces. This is such a small kit with delicate details. You don't want to end up cutting chunks out of the actual tank. Now to remove that excess plastic, I'm just going to cut as close as I can get without touching the actual piece and then just remove the rest of it with some sandpaper. And one other thing that I'll be removing is that seam line there along the tracks. Then I'll just rescribe the lines in with a micro saw. So there you have the basic kit put together. There's a couple of little modifications I want to make. And then it's on to painting. So I'm just filling in these gaps with some styrene card. There's a couple of larger gaps here. I'm just going to fill those in with Vallejo's plastic putty. I've just replaced the end of the main gun with a copper tube. Just makes it look a bit more cleaner and crisp. And I'm also going to be removing the headlights and replacing those. I'm going to be priming the model with um, Vallejo's Mecha Color Primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a base coat of Model Air Russian Green and then add a little bit of white so I can highlight and lighten the individual panels.
So next I'm just going to add a few highlights to the very raised portions of the tank. So for the tracks I'm just going to paint it a black grey, it's a good basis for the rubber. So now I'm going to take care of a few of the finer details, like the tools. So now that I've clear coated it, I'm going to do a series of oil weathering. So first off, I'm going to be using an oil filter, just to alter the base coat slightly, and sort of enrich it a wee bit. So the next thing I want to do is a oil dot filter. So I'm using sap green, yellow ochre and white. And for the sides, I'm applying the same technique, but I'm just using darker tones. So this next weathering technique is called speckling, and I've taken a bit of that filter that I used at the beginning and just lightened it up slightly and then I'm going to spray it onto the tank using a toothpick and what this does is it simulates faded and chipped paint 
and it just breaks up that monotone color a wee bit. And if there's any too large or you think it's too clumpy, you can just wipe them away with a bit of white spirit. I'm just going to apply a dark pin wash now. Just to bring out those details. So now I'm going to add some light chipping to the tank. And now the metal chipping with a uh, black grey. Now I'm applying some weathering streaks and oil stains. I'm just using oil straight from the tube. And for the oil stains, I'm just using a mixture of black and burnt umber. as well as certain crevices and areas where grime would build up. So now the oil weathering stage is finished. I'm going to move on to pigments. I've just diluted a mixture of beach sand and brick dust. I'm just going to add that to the lower hull. And once that's dry, we can start blending that in using a dry brush. So I'm going to do the same with the tracks and I'm going to cover it with some brick dust. I just want to layer up that dirt a wee bit more using Vallejo's Burnt Umber pigment and I want to clump it a wee bit around the top rollers there that's where most of the dirt would have collected so I'm just going to lighten the edges with a lighter pigment this one is Europe dust from MIG Productions And then I'm going to blend it in a wee bit and just bring back a few of those details. I'm 
Here I'm just using that speckling technique just to simulate splashed mud. Now I'm going to highlight the end connectors and the track teeth with some dark steel pigment from Vallejo. And I'm just using a silicon brush to rub it on. I find it goes on much better than with a normal paintbrush. So now all we need to do is add the tracks back onto the tank. So there you have it, the M3 Lee in 1 to 100 scale. I think these are great little kits for someone just starting out and also someone who wants to get in and practice their painting and weathering techniques. I hope you're enjoying this series of quick builds. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions you might have in the comment section below. And please give a like and subscribe because that really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching.